Well, in this video, I'll take you through the other options in transformation. So we'll have a look at translate. So for example, if I'm having a rectangle over here and I want to move, I want to move this rectangle anywhere else apart from this. So I, instead of redoing the rectangle, I can use the translate option. So I select this whole rectangle and I select translate and then I want this point of the rectangle to be aligned with respect to the origin. So I select the uh, point on the rectangle and then I select the origin. Now if I keep the duplicate mode on it's going to create one more rectangle. If I keep it off then the same rectangle will be moved. So I will be turning it off and then I select the second point and it will move the rectangle to the new location. So that is the translate option. Now you can do this with respect to uh, any geometry and you can just select that geometry and move it around in the workspace and you can also make instances. So for example over here if I put the duplicate mode on I can select instances say if I want to make six instances and I want to move the rectangle somewhere like this so it's going to make six instances of the rectangle and it's going to space them equally based on the uh, point I selected so that is the translate option it's very useful for making uh, multiple uh, profiles from a single profile and without having uh, to redo them again and again uh, it's very useful option we'll have a look in on uh, we'll have a look at rotate in the next video see you there bye